Hey guys, we are back for more Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. And last time we made our way to the Tainted Grove and... Well, let's find out why this thing is tainted. And there are remains. Why are there remains? Let's see if we can get those. What? I will be your doom! Okay, so we have to face Juhani. And she can be tough. Uh, let's just see how it goes. Let's try a horror right off the bat and see if it works. It does! Excellent. Okay. Um, let's try some drain life, some lightning, and another horror. Okay, we're, we're working it. And she's saved. Alright, horror worked. I don't think it works. Wait. So, uh, let's try one more horror, make sure. Nope, she was saved. So she's gonna be unhorrified soon. But, if we can hit one more flurry. Hit it, hit it. Yes! You. You are strong. Stronger than me, even Who are you? I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. You embrace the dark side? Why? When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Um... You slew Quatra, your master? Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother? I was sent by the council to <clears throat> by the council to cleanse the taint from this grove. The council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go the nice way. I mean, I'll, I'll probably get light side points. I can't really remember if you do or not, but there's a reason. So I do not hold anger towards you, Juhani. I wish you peace. Not anger, peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I sit here and thank myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back. Or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Um. Why are you even thinking like that? Why? Because I am right. That's why. I can see the truth in your eyes as well. Do not look at me again. Okay, so let's keep trying to talk to her. <sighs> what is it? Um. I just want to talk. Talk? You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. Um, no desire to kill you. You... You do not? I am pathetic. I sit here and thank myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back. Or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Okay, let's see if we can... The first step on the path of true knowledge is knowing that you are ignorant. I seem to still have much to learn. Both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. Well, it is... Well, no. Even in death, the Force will allow her to live on. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Hmm. Do not worry, Johnny. They will surely take you back. 
I should convince them that I am truly repentant, that I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? Hmm. Your inner peace and harmony, harmony will show them your sincerity. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Okay, I did not get light side points, which is great. I was kind of worried that I would. Let's pick up these remains. And now the grove is cleansed. We have defeated and, well, convinced the taint to leave, I guess. Let's go back this way now. And there are more Mandalorian raiders up here. I, I guess I'll look at uh, at my journal for you guys. You have redeemed the fallen Jedi Padawan Johanni and removed the dark taint from the uh, Meditation Grove. But the Mandalorian raiders, there are, I think, three Mandalorian groups like this. We face one. Here is the second. And then after that... There's another group that we'll have to face as well. But that's for later. Let's just go ahead and take care of this group. Damn it, he did not get... He did not get horrified. Let's see if we can get these guys back here. Yes, okay. We got that one. Who is this? You have a shield on. I thought you would have a name. Okay, now maybe... Maybe I can horrify you now. Yes. Excellent. Now you will be a piece of cake to kill. 500 experience. Wow. Alright, oops. I did not mean to do that. I meant to hit horror. And it worked. Man, that's so good. I like that. Okay, there go those raiders. It's pretty easy. But the, uh, the fight later on for him won't be easy. Hey, a data pad. I want to look at that once I collect all the remains. Med pack. Nice. And what do you have? Duro's dead body. And another data pad. Damn. And we got some amplifiers of strength. Let's give that to Zalbar. Um, that's still good. Hey, he can... He can do that. I don't really think it does much for him, but... Oh, and I forgot we got some Davix stuff, too. Okay, he doesn't need that. I guess uh, Kandorus can benefit from that. Uh, what else? Do I have anything else? Okay, we got Davix combat suit. That's right. Maybe that's better? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, so let's give Kandorus the pink battle suit. And the visor. He might already have improved power blast though, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. Looks good in pink, doesn't he? What? Did I open the backpack yet? I did, okay. And there's nothing over there. Alright, let's return to the Jedi hideout. So we're gonna do this. Return to the Ebon Hawk. Make things quick and easy. And now all we have to do is run forward to the Jedi Council room. Hmm, wait, I think it's this guy you talked to or something. Welcome to the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine. I do not believe we know each other. My name is Dizra Lur Jada. You may call me Dizra. You must be the new apprentice Master Zara is training. I hear you are progressing at an astonish astonishing rate. How are you finding your lessons? Um. Um, let's see. It's difficult, but worthwhile. The lessons we learn at the feet of the Masters teach us to the use of Force for good. They show us the power of the light side and protect us from the dark. Good luck with your good... Okay, maybe it's later then. Alright, so we'll come back to that. Um, he might not be the person you talk to either, so... Could just be completely wrong, which has happened quite often in the past. But let's return to the Jedi Masters and tell them that we did their shit. We did their bidding. Okay, Zar. You have done well, you have done well my people. The ancient oh, he, he does not. 
and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training, and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. Excellent. And I think that means we have a Jedi robe, yes. Which is better than clothing. Let's equip that. We now look like a Jedi. We have a lightsaber and a robe. We are ready to kick some ass. Look what's going on in here. Do I have to wait for Zar or can I talk to Van Vandar or what? It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. Okay. Do we have any questions we can ask him? A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? What can you tell me about Bastila? She's standing Bastila right there, isn't she? Will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the masters in the council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? Uh, Karth mentioned something about it. Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila, and for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Okay. Now we get to choose our party. So we are going to take Bastila. Um, hmm. I guess... Wait, no, we're not going to take Bast... Oh. She has to be in there. Okay, great. Thanks, game. Let's take Zalbar as well. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals. If there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you... Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. Is there anything else I should know? These two families have been settled here for some years now. And causing me no end of trouble. Indeed. They have been settled here for some time, and feuding ever since. What caused this feud? I do not know how the original feud started, but they want nothing to do with each other. As you may have heard, 
Alan Matali believes that his son, Shen, has been kidnapped by Nurik Sandral. Curiously, Nurik's son, Cassus, has been missing for some time as well. I fear Nurik may suspect a lot in this. Is there anything else you wish to know? Okay. Which families are involved? The Sandral and Matali families are involved. The Sandrals live far to the south. The head of that family is Nurik Sandral. He is a stern man, but I believe him fair. Under the present circumstances, though, who knows? Alan Matali can be much more unstable. He is convinced of his own importance and can be a most oppressive individual at times. He lives closer to the Enclave, but still to the south. Is there anything else you wish to know? Okay, so he just told me all that. Okay, I will, I will investigate if there is time. If Shen Matali is not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. They must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. Okay, so Bastila has level ups now. Let's go ahead and take those. I'm here. But yeah, this Sandro Metalli feud, um, hmm. Not, not a big fan of that side quest. There are a couple, maybe two or three side quests in the game. I mean, I love the game. The game is awesome. I'm actually addicted to it once again, and I've beaten it, I don't even know how many times. But uh, anyway, let me choose a force power so I won't... Okay, let's do Disable Joy. Anyway, the Sandro Metalli feud is just a side quest that I've never really enjoyed. Sure. But uh, we're going to do it. We're going to take care of it the dark side way. And wait a second. Let's go here and talk to Juhani and then... Might have to go back and talk to the council again. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. Okay. Uh, did you learn anything more about Quad uh, Quatra? Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. So where is Quatra now? After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide, you, back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. You've been given another chance to prove yourself. I hope you use it well. Oh, damn it. I do not know what the Council has in store for me. But I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me Okay, well, that's nice, Juhani. I'm glad we could help her. We'll benefit from that later on. Now let's head out. Um, I want to go ahead and do the Central Metalli feud in the uh, in the next. Part. I'll probably do most of the side quests before going to the ancient ruins. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So uh, let's go in here. I'm fixing in the part. I think, yeah. But let's talk to Elise first. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see? Your companion? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. 
I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Um, it is possible. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Only think of it. The door was locked. Um, could it have been opened from the inside? Well, yes, it could have. But he had no reason to run away. His programming... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, your missing companion is a droid? Well, yes. He is a droid. But he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. What exactly did you use him for again? He is a personal uh -huh. assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. If I happen to see him, I will send him back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. Okay, so that's another quest we have. But uh, I think I'm going to end here. And in the next part, we will take care of the Sandro Metalli feud, hopefully. Um, not sure how long it'll take. Can't really remember. But uh, let's go ahead and head to the Metalli grounds. Why not? And I think they are this way. Their little... Their house thing. Their estate. Jeez, couldn't think of the word. Yep, see those flashing lights? That's their house. Or their estate. Okay, yeah. So next time, we will try to take care of this feud. And uh, if there's time, we'll do more side quests. I don't know, though. Okay, see you guys then. Thanks for watching.